Hello, this is One Life to Collect, showing my RCA Select Division movie collection. Uh, I've got quite the collection, and anyone who knows what these are knows just how heavy they are. Um, <laughs> I think they weigh like half a pound each or something like that, so uh, even moving them around is quite the, uh, quite the ordeal. But um, I've actually got four players, so these are the three... I think one has some issues with the uh, the needle. Um, they actually play like a record, so inside is, is actually the same as a record would be, but uh, the needle in these machines reads them. So instead of music, it comes out as video. Pretty cool, but I hear it actually almost bankrupted the company, RCA. Um, but uh, yeah, so these are the three players. They look pretty old school, of course. My other one's a Zenith, I believe. Um, I've actually got... Uh, some of the pamphlets originally. Now I've actually got some extra needles. Um, so that's actually what the needle looks like um, inside of the machine. Pretty interesting. Um, I've got everything in alphabetical order. I won't go through all, but you know, three is the Condor. Um, they actually have a lot of these are part one and two. So um, you have to make sure that when you're buying something, uh, that you have both parts. Um, a lot of these, when you actually watch them, um, you know, there's a lot of them that, that skip pretty badly. Um, I'd say in terms of quality, it's maybe, you know, equivalent to VHS. Um, that's pretty cool, Blazing Cells. Um, you know, VHS maybe arguably a step down from that. Um, but, uh, you know, in terms of finding players that are, that work, um, you know, it's, it's really, really rare. Um, the unfortunate thing is rare doesn't actually mean valuable. I think you can pick these up for relatively cheap, or at least I did, um, in terms of just, uh, you know, I think this, all of these are maybe four or five collections um, in one. Um, I've also traded some of these, so I think some of the more valuable ones might be might be gone or traded away, but, you know, I'm not collecting these for the value, I'm just, I collect them because I kind of like old school um, media and things like this, so I said I wouldn't show all of them, but uh, looking that way, I might as well keep going, oh yeah, grease, tons of those. Um, so it's, uh, as I said, oh my gosh, they're quite heavy. Um, maybe I might just leave them there. Goodness. Um, I kind of have them underneath my uh, my basketball net, which is funny. Um, this is the only one that uh, I wished I had, but it's actually empty. Um, a lot of doubles, Hello Dolly, musicals. Um, yeah, so I'm only up to the H's here, J, K, Last Tango in Paris, yeah. let me reorient, reorient these before I, same thing happens. So yeah, pretty cool, I mean, uh, you know, they're neat to to play around with and just kind of have a lazy weekend afternoon watching watching some uh, VHS quality movies. Actually, I think most of these movies, they had a lot that were just made, um, like they took old black and white movies and just made new versions of them. Or not new versions, but they just re-released it probably just to, you know, make some money. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, I think... Most of the movies are from the, you know, if you had to pick a, a time range, I think it's the late 70s through the early 80s. Um, memory serves. So, yeah, Patton, I know there's a lot of those in there. Pink Panther, a lot of those. Porkies. Uh, Raging Bull. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of these. It's actually quite a lot. It seems to be a, a time of 
of movies that uh, that I haven't really seen a lot of, to be honest. So, um, yeah, it's kind of good to catch up on some of the old late 70s movies that I didn't really get to see when they... Yeah, I wasn't old enough to see them, basically, in the theater, so... Um, Smoking the Bandit. For some reason, I've got lots of Sophie Choice, Sophie's Choice, Star Trek, Super Bowl. Yeah, it's weird. They've got some like music ones, Super Bowl, uh, like sports. Um, I don't know if there's any in here worth uh, worth anything. Oh, Towering Inferno. Pretty cool. So anyways, oh yeah, Urban Cowboy, I've got tons of those. Um, so anyways, that is my collection. Um, probably not displayed all that well, but uh, yeah, really, really cool stuff. Really rare, but not worth a ton, but uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks.